Hello, welcome to Revelator Alpha. So in this video, I'm talking about motorcycle transportation systems or how you're going to transport your bike uh, if you're going to be carrying it by a car or a van or something like that. Revelator Alpha. So, first of all, uh, best advice really would be to, if you can afford a van, if you already own a van or a pickup truck, then just use that. It'd be the safest way to transport any bike. Uh, otherwise, you're going to have to rent a van, which can be obviously quite expensive just for going to pick up a bike. If it's a single use thing, you've just bought a bike somewhere and you want to go and um, pick up the bike, that might be the best option. But if you, you, know, you have to take repeated journeys to transport a bike, then that's not really going to be an option. So probably the best thing to do then is to buy a heavy duty motorcycle trailer. You actually hook it up to your tow hitch on your car got a trailer behind, wheel the bike on, strap it on, and just transport it just Transport it wherever you need to go. The great benefit of either a van or a trailer is if the bike is old, it's a barn find or something like that, it's seized up, then uh, you can just load it on there and you don't have to worry about it. Uh, also, you're not putting any extra wear on the bike as well. Okay, so, you know, the trailer or a van is probably the best thing. Okay, the next option is what I've got here for occasional use is a motorcycle trolley system, a dolly system. Now basically what it is, you've got your tow hitch here and we're gonna put this frame onto it. Then this other frame here latches onto it. So I'll put that on and then we'll discuss how it goes. Okay, so the basic frame is on to the tow hitch of the, the car now. And this one is uh, got a couple of extra spaces so I can clear the 4x4 rear wheel uh, mount as well, which is a bit of a pain for this kind of system. Okay, so the next thing, you put the frame on the back here, like that. Like that. Okay, so you've got this frame in here. Now you need to put the side extension bars on. And at the, at the end here, you've got these loops, loop connector bolts, and you're gonna uh, tie straps to that. Uh, just quickly show you here. There. There. Put that on there. Then obviously tighten it up all the way up. Let's do the other side. Okay, so basically you've got the, the, the initial frame mounted to the tow hitch on the bolts. You've got this top frame that slots in and this is where the front wheel is gonna set in. And you've got these two extensions on the either side which you're gonna tie the straps to there. And then those straps go to the handlebars, whatever. So what you need to do now is construct a ramp here So basically this is just a ramp and I've constructed it in a way that that will just hold in so that will just hold in place so this is what you do you get your motorbike you wheel it up put it up the ramp and then the front tire sits in here then you strap the handlebars and the frame to either side here, take away the ramp, of course, strap in, tie in the front wheel as well, put the handbrake on, and basically then you can tow your motorcycle wherever you want. The problem is it's freewheeling on the rear tire. So if you've got a tire that's flat, if you've got a gearbox or something that's all screwed up, that's not gonna, you, know, you won't be able to use this system. Really, it's only for bikes that are in good condition, that are freewheel, and you can carry any size bike uh, or tow any size bike on this. The beauty of this system, it's not permanent. You can just 
take this away, take those side extensions, put them in the car boot, and it's kind of rather innocuous. You leave this part on the frame, absolutely fine. Now, some people will say that actually uh, towing the bike like this and freewheeling it on the rear wheel is not a good idea. I'm not so sure. I mean, I've towed a couple of bikes myself and they're absolutely fine. You've got to stick to quite slow speeds, about 50 miles an hour. But the problem is you can't reverse this. You've got to go in one direction. So it's not very maneuverable, really. Um, as long as you plan out your route, you know exactly where you go and it's fine. Um, but getting it up there can be a bit of a pain. You might have to have a couple of people to help you lift it up there and also lift the bike off. Um, but in general, the system does work. Now, the other system, which you could use, is a motorcycle rack system, carrier rack system. And basically what happens there, you've got a square tube that goes into, uh, on my system anyway, it goes into that tow bar fitting. You gotta understand there are different types of tow bar fitting as well. So only if you've got that square tube receiver point and the under end, you've got two bolts there, which you undo. And there's another bolt under there as well, which you undo as well. You slide this whole thing out and then you've got another tube that goes in there. And on top of that, you've got a, a rack system that goes on there and you basically load the bike in from the side. So you just wheel the bike up, it sits, across ways strap it down strap it to your car somewhere around the rear wheel and that's basically the system that i'm going for right now now with this system here let me just show you stable okay absolutely fine this would take a hell of a lot of weight now with the carrier rack system those are good for it depends which ones you get some are just for basically small scooters pit bikes small trials bikes they'll take to about 100 kilos 120 kilos um, and it's basically a frame that bolts onto here and then one comes out here where you put the rear tire in, rear wheel in. The bike sits across the bike, uh, across the back of the car. Rear wheel sits across here. Then you've got an angle going that way, another receiver, another slot if you like, where the front tire sits at an angle as well. You strap the bike down and away you go. So if you're gonna take, let's say any kind of adult size motocross bike up to about 250 cc, that might be not strong enough. So you need the other system where you've got to replace the whole tube and then you've got a, rat, um, a rack tray which you actually sit the bike on. And that would be good for about up to 130, 140 kilos. Some of them say go up to about 250 kilos. I'm not so sure. But you've also got to be aware of what's the maximum load that your car can take on a tow hitch as well. And I think it could, they call it the nose weight. In other words, how much weight is it pressing down and how much weight is it gonna lift off the front of the car? To, does it make it stable or not? The actual tow hitch will certainly hold the weight of a small motocross bike, Enduro bike up to about 150 kilos, let's say. I've got no doubt, but it's whether the car will be able to do it. Okay, so you've got a van, you've got a trailer, you've got this motorcycle dolly system, which works, but it's not good for reversing at all, and you rely on the freewheeling of the rear tire, or you've got a rack system for lighter bikes, not for big bikes, lighter bikes. Um, and I think, for me, I'm actually going for a, this rack system, uh, or I'm gonna modify this, and maybe just put a rack on top of this as well. That's the other option, so I've got two systems in one, if you like. Uh, have that uh, rack system and then I can transport a small motocrosser uh, wherever I need to go just go and do my off-roading bit load it onto the car and away I go because the thing is about small enduro bikes let's say they're not great for the road so they're great for off-road but not great for the road so that's why I'm investing in this system anyway I hope this video helps I'm trying to give you as much information in a very small video I know I've rambled on a little bit but you know this does work 
but it's not great, I would say. Um, so go for the, the, the rack system for motocrosses. Right, catch you on the next video. Ta-da. Revelator L.